Hey guys, so just a really quick video today to show you how to get started with your organization system. And it might seem silly to start organizing before you actually have anything except for maybe the design software installed, but I found that getting organized early on is the best way to go because once you have hordes of files and fonts um, and you're trying to go through them one by one to get them organized it can take a really long time if you have that system set up from the very beginning then it's just clean and easy from the start so what you're gonna do is make a folder and if you know how to make a folder then this is gonna be easy for you but I'm going with the assumption that you don't really know anything about your computer or how to do much of all uh, much of anything at all so you know if you already know this cool you're ahead of the game but if not this is what you want to do so you're gonna go to your start button which is in the bottom left hand corner it's the little Windows symbol that you see down there click on it and then go to my computer which is right here click on that and now up here under hard drives you can see I have two I have um, my drive that has all my programs and software on it and then I also have a drive because I do so many other things um, that I just save files on so if I go to my D drive, you can see I have a folder here that's graphics. That's where I store mine. But I'm going to assume that you do not have a D drive, that you just have a C. If you do have a storage drive, by all means, use that one. Otherwise, your C drive works just fine. So you're going to click on your C drive and bring this up. Now, you've got your program files. That's where your Windows and your uh, other software are installed you're just gonna leave those alone you're not gonna do anything what you're gonna do is you're gonna click right here where it says new folder okay and it's gonna drop down a folder at the bottom of your screen and it will have a typeable box in it so under that folder I just want you to name it graphics or something else that you're going to remember okay and then we're gonna make a shortcut to this folder so that's really easy for you to find so I want you to right click on it now normally you left click on things you're gonna right click to bring up this menu um, and right here it says create a shortcut so you're gonna do that go ahead and click on it so now right under that graphics folder that you made you have the shortcut to the graphics folder take that drag it on your desktop there it is so you can go ahead close out of this window now you have your graphic shortcut on your desktop it's always going to be easy for you to find double click on it it brings up the empty folder so in here we're gonna do some more folder creation so go ahead and click on that new folder button and I want you to call this one fonts so from now on when you download a font it's gonna go right in that folder and then you're gonna click on another folder and you're going to name it my stuff and now when you make a file when you design something in Photoshop or Illustrator it gets saved to that my stuff folder so that you never have to go digging for it and oh crap where did I put that it's always going to be in your my stuff folder and later on as you're designing new and different things or working on certain projects you can create folders inside of these folders to help you find it easier as you build up files but this is where we're gonna start to begin with and then you can make folders that are things like vectors patterns um, clip art anything that you're gonna use uh, keep your organization clean and simple in uh, that way when you're trying to look for things you'll always be able to find it so that's all you need to do um, install the the font display software that I posted earlier and you guys are on your way to being ready to go. Cool. Talk to you soon.